This is Bill and Deb North of the Florida Weekend Warriors. Our adventures are usually in Florida, but on this series of videos, we fly into Anchorage, Alaska with Kyle and Nikki and rent a motorhome from Great Alaskan Holidays. We're going to explore the Kenai Peninsula with some major stops in Seaward, Homer, and Cooper Landing. We camp at some amazing waterfront campgrounds. When the sun comes out, everything is so beautiful that our pictures look fake and photoshopped. This eagle picture was taken with just an iPhone. In this video, we travel from Seward to Homer. We used a Sterling Highway. It's about 168 miles. We're going to be staying at the Heritage RV Park. It's the only place with full hookups out on the Homer Spit. But before we get there, we're going to stop at Anchor Point and see if we can see some bald eagles. The Sterling Highway is actually a better road than the road that goes into Seward. It starts off very scenic with all these mountain views and then it gets relatively flat and you go through an area where there's not a whole lot to see other than just vacant forest. Continue straight for two hours and 36 minutes to Great Land Street. The summertime in Alaska is the only time they get to work on the roads. So expect construction zones almost about anywhere. We didn't really get held up on traffic by any of them. Just make sure you slow down because some of them were pretty bumpy. When you get closer to Homer, there's a lot of pull-offs. They can pull off the road and take some pictures. Take your pictures because you never know what's going to be foggy. There's the Homer spit. That's where we're camping tonight. See it all the way up in this bluff. It actually goes out in the bay a few miles. We're at Anchor Point, recreation area. This is where all the uh, eagles are supposed to be. We don't see many though. It's pretty. We're at Anchor Point. You probably can't hear us because of the wind. This is where people go clamming. The view's phenomenal though. Those mountains in the background. We found one. And if you can tell with this Debbie over there, there's a bald eagle to the left. Made it to Homer. We're at the scenic outlook on the edge of town. It's beautiful here. Wow. Pretty flowers. I know. Flowers Next to the pretty lady. So pretty. Aww, look at you. <laughs> How much did Kyle pay you? I don't know. Wow. Before you leave the scenic overlook, don't forget to take a picture in front of this iconic sign. Looks like we're driving right into the mountains, doesn't it? Yep. The Homer Spit is basically just a road that goes out into the middle of the bay. It goes out a couple miles. And at the end of it is some restaurants, some hotels, a big marina, and it's just really one big tourist trap. It's really something to see and it's really quite pretty. There's all kinds of campsites all along it. 
and our RV park that we're staying at is right on the spit. There's also a bunch of other um, campgrounds that are dry camping along. The boss. Here we are at Heritage RV Park out on the Homer Spit. We've got water, 30 and 50 amp, sewer, and cable TV. We're gonna have our own nice little fire pit out here on the spit. It's a gorgeous day. I'm behind the RV because it's super windy out here. If I go around the corner, you're not gonna be able to hear me. So I'll give you a quick little tour. It's a clubhouse. There's a picnic table. This is the back end of our campsite. Doing a little fishing. You can see that. You have a phenomenal view. Mountains in the background. Here's a drone shot of our campsite just a couple of hours later. Look how far the tide has gone out. The tide goes up and down 20 feet each day. The sunsets here are amazing. This is truly one of the nicest RV parks that we stayed at in Alaska with water, sewer, cable TV, and laundry, a nice clubhouse. On top of the clubhouse, there's even like a, a viewing deck we can go up and watch the sunsets at night. We're up on the deck of the clubhouse. People out in the spit. Here we are right over there. It's a beautiful night. It's the next morning and we go out to the end of the spit where the, basically the town is to do some exploring. It's super windy so none of the audio is really coming out. It's a pretty cool area. In the afternoon we're supposed to actually go out and fly into the national park and see the bears. They're going to be, well, the plane's going to land on the beach and we're going to be able to see the bears feeding on the sand. It's Wednesday and there's not a whole lot going on out on the spit because you're not allowed to fish for halibut on Wednesdays in Alaska. So there's not a whole lot of people out here on the spit. But a trip to Homer wouldn't be complete without a trip to the Salty Dog Saloon. It's a tradition out here. We can just figure out how to get in the place. There's several doors, there's a lot of people. We're not sure which door to go in. We got a door? We got a door? Oh man, cool. Wow. This is supposed to be one of the oldest bars in Alaska. The amount of dollar bills on the walls was incredible. We just got to put our name up here, too. Yeah. Ready to get a beer or what? <laughs> this is the Norris family from Florida Weekend Warriors. We're here at some kind of viewing place, but we're going on a plane ride to see some bears. What's the name of it? Alaska Bear Adventures? We'll, we'll see, see you there. See you in the air. See ya. See ya. Bad weather, had to cancel. Cancel. Clouds are too low. Thanks, Mom. All right, we're at our campsite on Homer's Spit. We're having Cheese and crackers, some apples. We got the fire going. Our 
Bruce man. Fire. Bruce Fire. After all that rain. Look at all the mountains in the background. We hoped you liked this video. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. In the next video, we're going to rent a charter boat and go halibut fishing.